Hello and welcome back to the Fluffy Bubble. Today I'm going to be sharing my most requested formula to date. It is our No Melt Body Butter. It's an official shop formula. This is what we use to make our buttercream body butter. It's a really thick and rich emulsified body butter, so it's no melt. But even though it's emulsified, it has the texture and the feel of a whipped body butter and the richness of a whipped body butter, which makes it really unique. The ingredients are very specific, so I am going to list them here for you to take a look at the ingredients to make sure they are ingredients that you're comfortable using, that you have access to. Because full disclaimer, this formula is a little more of an investment than my other formulas. I actually wasn't even planning on releasing this formula ever at all, but um, <laughs> I've gotten so many requests for it, I guess after people trying it and seeing it, that they really want to learn how to make it. And I don't want to deprive anybody of that. And I, I really have enjoyed sharing my formulas and different creations and it's so fun to see when you guys send me pictures and things of what you've made and what you're selling and I'm just happy that I could have even helped you in any way to do that so I definitely wanted to share this process and formula because it is pretty unique and it is something that I really took a lot of time and effort researching and trying different things just over and over and over again to get this exactly how I wanted it to be to kind of emulate a whipped body butter but not be a whipped body butter and just be a lot more stable so yeah I'm just I'm excited to share it if you are not ready to invest in the formula don't forget I do have other body cream formulas that are low cost you can always do a google search there's so much information out there hopefully this video will still help you with learning and just kind of seeing what I do and maybe that in and of itself can help you and just seeing the ingredients that I use if you do purchase the formula packet I put a lot of effort into that as well and tons of information where I get everything, links to the equipment that I use, the ingredients that I use, detailed information about why I chose these ingredients and why I use these ingredients, which can help you with formulating in the future. Just knowing the hows and the whys can be very, very helpful. So I break that down for you. I also break down detailed instructions on how to execute the formula in this packet. So it's a longer packet. It is 18 pages, 16 pages of actual information and then like a cover page and table of contents and all of that so it's a really detailed packet with all of that said this is a pretty straightforward tutorial I'll let you know what I'm doing along the way if you want to download the formula you can get that at the link below as well as everything that I'm using equipment and ingredients they are all linked below and you can purchase our buttercream body butter on our site thefluffybubble.com now let's get started This next ingredient is not the most popular one. It took me a while to find out about it, but Laurel Lauryd is a great natural alternative to silicone. It provides slip and makes the product feel less greasy, which is perfect for a body butter with a lot of butters and oils.
Okay, after glycerin is added, remove the beaker from the scale and clear the scale by pressing tear. Then you're going to weigh the full phase B beaker. Record the weight so you can replace any evaporated, distilled, or deionized water after heating. To complete our double boiler, we're going to fill a shallow pan with about an inch of water. This is a little more than I normally suggest because we have a lot of high melt point ingredients, so be patient, but it may take a little longer to melt these ingredients than you may be used to. After stick blending, you just want to check the mixture's temperature. At this point, if you want to color your body butter one color, you can add it now while it's hot and very liquid. Water-soluble liquid color blends the easiest at this stage. But I'm actually going to be coloring this body butter two colors, so I'll wait until after adding fragrance oil and optifin below 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the mixture is below 140 degrees Fahrenheit, add your fragrance oil and Optifin. I am using a caramel fragrance oil for a caramel toffee crunch. The exact fragrance I use is included in the formula download, but you can use any fragrance you'd like. Split the mixture in half if you're going to do two colors like I am. If you're not using color at all or just using one color, you can skip this step. But I am weighing this to make sure it's exactly in half. Now that the mixture has cooled down and it's at room temperature, it's time to fill the jars. I'm going to pipe my body butter into the jars, but you could do something different like just scoop it with the spatula. As you can see, our body butter is thick and gorgeous and it will continue to thicken for about 24 hours. It smells so, so good. The toffee caramel crunch 
fragrance is amazing. I want to eat it, but don't eat it. <laughs> I'm just going to line the body butter onto the cling wrap. Regular cling wrap works just fine. There's no need to buy anything more expensive or fancy. I'm just going to line the colors up purple, blue, purple, blue. If you're wondering why I'm lining up two colors into four lines, purple, blue, purple, blue, instead of just two lines of purple and then blue, it's just because I found that it looks better in the jar that way. You don't have to do it this way. If you wanna just put two colors right next to each other, you can. I just like the way this looks better. And don't worry about the lines being perfect. Of course, you wanna do it as neatly as you can, but it doesn't have to be anywhere near perfect. Now that we have all of our colors in the cling wrap, it's time to roll the cling wrap so that both end colors are touching each other. This might take a minute or two. It's okay, take your time, there's no rush. Just roll it into the best log that you can and it'll be fine. All right, it's time to fill our jars. This is almost the best part because the best part is actually using the body butter, but this is a close second. I love how satisfying and pretty these swirls look. I know purple and blue do not exactly look like caramel toffee crunch, but it smells amazing. It's pretty. I love pastel colors, so we're just gonna roll with it. <laughs> if you want a jar for yourself, you can purchase one at the link below in the description box, or if you would like this formula that is also available to download, there's a link in the description box to Again, thank you as always for sticking around and watching this video. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative and helpful in some way. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you. And uh, yeah, just thanks for watching. I showed these clips in the beginning, but just in case you skip the intro, I'm showing them again. You can see the jar and the texture, which I think is absolutely perfect. I wish you could smell it because it honestly just smells delicious. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I hope you have a great week and I will see you in the next video. Bye. What? <laughs>